the Egyptians said all is atom. Mm. So mm. today we still say that everything is made of atoms. The current model of atom is incorrect. Everything is made of atoms. We know that, but we don't know the true geometry of what an atom is. It's, it's not mm. particles. They call it a particle wave duality. So is it a particle or a wave? Mm. Well, I'm here to show you guys what, what I've discovered and what helped me is that this, this is what an atom actually is. Oh, wow. It's a, whirlpool, it's a whirlpool of energy. It's toroidal in structure. Mm. But see, we're told, mainstream science tells us that our electromagnetic field simply just comes out of the North Pole and into the South Pole in straight lines. But that's not true, you guys. The true structure of the electromagnetic field, it spirals out of the top and spirals out of the bottom. Basically, this was Nikola Tesla's greatest discovery was the counter-rotating fields of magnetism. Mm. That not only does your electromagnetic field curve, but it curls. Hey, that's okay. the hard book. Okay. So yeah. this right here is your electromagnetic field. At the very top, you see that it swirls out, and at the very bottom, it swirls out. So what you see is this formation. Mm. This is what? found all in nature. We know that this shape is what creates the crown chakra in India. It's mm. called the Sahasrara crown chakra. Why is it your crown chakra? Because it's the aura that is produced once you... Uh, you become one with the earth. So what I'm saying is the point of meditation is to become one with nature. The earth has a north and south pole. You also have a north and south pole. So when you ground yourself or you connect with earth, you're sharing that north and south pole. Now your north pole becomes the earth's north pole. It's like stacking magnets on top of each other. They become one magnet. Mm. One, one more thing I want to say is, is this here. I, I have three magnets. This is one block magnet and I have two little disc magnets on each side. I could even put, I could even put one here. And what's happening is it's sticking to the plane of inertia. Oh. Magnets don't just stick to the top and bottom. They also stick to the very center, which is the plane of inertia, uh. which is why your Milky Way galaxy is a flat disc. So yes, this hearth book is a flat earth book. Hey, but wow. it's, it's not just that a flat earth book it's a truth book and i didn't mean to cut you off there what you say, <laughs> no, 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 i said all right perfect perfect this is a perfect storm right here That's we great. was just talking about that go ahead let's go and so look so what i have on my face is phi here phi is we say God is everywhere, and that's right. God is in all things, not just all physical things. He's the non, not just he, God is sexless. I like to say that God is sexless, mm. which is not male or female, okay. and the devil, which means double, mm. is male and female. That's why Baphomet is a male and female, because God cannot be a male or a female. It's neither. It's spirit. Spirit is in all males and all females. Mm. So therefore, God is spirit, sexless. The devil is matter both sexes but what i want to say is this god is infinite uh, it says in the bible god was is and is to come so it doesn't have a beginning only things that are material have a beginning and ending spirit is eternal so therefore god is what is eternal what is eternal it's love love can never be destroyed ether also spells heart also spells earth because what produces your electromagnetic field around your body is your core corazón. What produces the electromagnetic field on the earth is the core. So our hearts, heart, earth, and ether, they all have the same letters because they're all the same. Everything is atoms. And what is an atom? It's this right here on my face. Look, I'm gonna show you, this is amazing. What you have here is the phi symbol. Okay. It's made up of a torus and a hyperbola, which makes this here, which is what you see when a nuclear bomb goes off. You have a giant mushroom cloud, which is the tree. And this hyperbola, or the snake eating its tail. I mean, th that's actually the torus. What's happening here is this torus is made when a nuclear bomb explodes. It's the release of energy. So what is ether? What is God? It's eternal, infinite energy. Everything else is just the release of energy. So mm. what what is God? You can say uh, an invisible dragon that never wakes up, forever sleeping. Or you could even say a nuclear bomb but it, it explodes its energy when it explodes that's the release of energy uh ken wheeler says people have it mixed up they, they think that energy is is a giant nuclear bomb that's not energy that's the release of energy energy is pure potential which has the potential of 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 creating that that force mm -hmm. so force force takes the form of a torus mm. so therefore everything in the universe will take that uh, toroidal 
Every, everything is just the release of energy. God, mm. the universe, I will say God is the universe. It's everything, matter and spirit. The universe has expressed itself into many for the simple joy of returning or becoming one again.